So in the last episode, we were able to show the video for the other peer. And as you can see now, we can have a communication going on between the two peers. And in this episode, I want us to focus on end call where we will hang up the call. So there are two situations where we hang up right here when we end call. And then whenever we receive a call notification, we could answer or hang up. Just jump into socket context. And we had already added this particular function, handle hang up. I have made this update. You will add data and the data will be of type ongoing call, which is optional. Ongoing call or not is emit hang up, which is an optional boolean. So this data will be received by that arrow function. And now I want us to work on the body of this arrow function. If we have socket and end, if we have a user and end, if we have data dot ongoing call and end, if we have data dot is emit hang up. So if we have all this information, we will go ahead and emit a hang up. So here I'll say socket dot emit and we will invoke that the event that we will emit is hang up. Then the data that we will pass on will be here. We'll say ongoing call will be data dot ongoing call then comma. So we'll pass the ID of the person who is hanging up the call and you will say user.id. So that is the object that we pass to this particular hang up event. We will handle that event on our server, but let's continue down here. After this if statement, we will reset everything. So we will set the ongoing call to be null. We will set peer to be null. So that means that on our side, the call will like automatically be cleared and then right here i'll say if we still have a local stream going on and we'll say local stream dot get tracks we will go through each of them so we'll say dot for each track remember we have video tracks we have audio tracks uh what we will do we will get a track at a time and then right here we will return track dot stop and we invoke that to stop the tracks then we will go ahead and reset the local stream as well by saying set local stream to be null uh, we will set up some state which is call ended const uh, is call ended and set is call ended then right here we'll say this is use state and by default that will be false now, whenever we finish ending up a call, we will call this set is call ended at handle hang up. So look for handle hang up again. After this if statement, now we will say set is call ended. We will set that one to true. And then the dependencies that will make this function to be recreated. The major ones are socket. We have user we have local uh, stream we have created this function handle hang up which will emit a hang up event when ending a call we have set is call ended to true but we don't want it to always remain true so when we are making a call and when we are joining a call we will set that back to false so here i'll say false and this is on handle call look for handle join call so here we also like reset that to back to false so that it's not always true okay nice we need to add handle hang up to the value right here so here we will have handle hang up we add that to the type now go to the very top and we'll add that handle hang up which we receive data and the data will be of a certain type is emit hang up is the other type here which is an optional boolean this is part of the arrow function it will return void so we add that to the type like that so now we go to video call and at the top uh, we will bring in uh, the hang up handle hang up that is and we had this end call button and we had this on click 
so now we will complete this on click here we will return handle hang up this handle hang up can receive an object the object will be having ongoing call and here we will actually go ahead and pass our ongoing call ongoing call or null um, it's not assignable to ongoing call or undefined so what we will do we will say ongoing call is we check do we have ongoing call if we do have ongoing call we will set it now to be ongoing call else we will set it to be undefined just to resolve that uh, error now this is the first thing that it receives so comma and in this case we will actually emit hang up when we click this particular button so i'll say here is emit hang up is true and by that whenever we click this end call that handle hang up will be called there is another place that we are hanging up where we had our call notification and we will have a similar function so what i could do so i will copy this on click the way it is up to this point copy then we go to call notification and we will receive handle hang up then here we will have uh, this button for handle join call and we have this button which will handle the hang up i'll say on on click i think i copied the whole of it um maybe i could paste like that so i paste it like that and it will call handle hang up we will pass on going call and also in this case we will actually emit the event for hang up to the other person okay so far so good now let's go ahead and handle the event on our server we have emitted it on our client so we go to server.js we will come right here and we will listen to socket dot on we listen to hang up event if we receive that we'll go ahead and call on hang up on hang up so we don't have that on hang up so we'll come to socket events and we'll add it and i'll say on hang up dot js hit enter we come to on call let's copy this function copy come to on hang up paste it here now here we will remove if statement then we will change on call to on um, hang up so we are exporting on hang up we come to server.js we are calling it here but we should import it from that particular file so i auto import it at the top on hang up from that file very nice uh, we are done with this server.js file i could even like close it now we focus on this on hang up.js we will receive here not participants but we receive our data there remember the data have the ongoing call and it have the user hanging up id so if we come to socket context and you go to where we created hang up function uh, this is the event that we emitted hang up and the data is this one ongoing call and user hanging up id we will say let socket id to emit to then here i'll say if data dot ongoing call dot participants then dot caller dot user id is the same as data dot user hanging up id okay so if these are equal that means that the event that we want to emit we should emit it to the receiver so we update this socket id to emit to right here uh, socket id to emit to will be equal to data dot ongoing call dot participants dot receiver here so i copy up to that point and here i'll say dot receiver then we will get now the socket id here socket id dot socket id here we'll just go ahead and i'll say else we will set the socket id to be that of the caller then we'll make use of this socket id to emit to to emit an event here so we'll say if we have that socket id 
to emit to what we'll do here is we'll say io.2 socket uh, id to emit to and here we'll say dot emit and we'll emit hang up so on the server we emit hang up to a specific user using their socket id and this is how we have determined which socket id to emit to if it's the caller who initiated the hang up then we will emit the event to the, to the receiver if it's the receiver who initiated the hang up we emit the event to the caller now on our ui we go back to socket context here we'll go at the very bottom where we had some events going on and here are the call events and here we will listen to that hang up now on our socket context i'll say socket dot on and here we will listen to hang up so i come here and we pass it here socket dot off don't forget to change that so now when the other person receive this event they will call handle hang up but in this case what will happen is that um why is that function in this case is emit hang up will not have the value of true so what will happen is that we will not emit an event again we will just clear our own states very very nice so we i think we could test if it actually works let's go to chrome we have these two users let's call at this point this user could uh, immediately decide to hang up the call so end call okay that should have emitted hang up to this user and cleared the state here but it didn't so something is wrong hey guys uh, so i recorded an entire episode solving that error of hang up and uh, at the end of it all i realized that i wasn't recording but i have already written all the code now it will be so much work for me to write all the code again so what i'll do i'll take you through whatever i did and uh, yeah you will be able to catch up okay so what you need to do is at socket context go at the top here uh, where we had uh, handle hang up here i added this um, question mark there because it comprehends that uh, we might not have this ongoing call so add that check and also add the check here this question mark there and that will actually resolve the error and handle hang up will work smoothly and another thing that you'll do is to restart the server and then you'll test handle hang up so it will be able to uh you know hang up the call so right now if i go right here mine already works if i call uh, we'll have this and when we click on hang up it will clear and we'll have this call ended and that call ended you see that it's like a notification it disappears so i had covered that and i realized that i wasn't recording so i'll take you through every code so right now you should be able to at least be able to hang up but you'll not have that call ended notification and also uh, this particular end call persists like even after hanging up for your case at the moment so if i end call you can see mine is not there but yours persists so what you need to do is to go to video call and you will perform this check if you don't have local stream and if you don't have peer you return if you do that then this button here end call will not show if we are not on a call and then we have this is call ended remember we had like set up that state at the top here is call ended and set is call ended now what you need to do is to add it right here at the type i socket context and then at the very bottom you will add it at the value you add at the value is call ended and then now on video call you'll be able to get that from the context is call ended and then right here you'll be able to do this if you have is call ended you can return a call ended notification right here component but for my case i'm just focusing on the logic so i just uh, showed a div with that text 
okay but as you can see mine disappears after some time and for your case it will persist and for you to make it to uh, disappear after some time you'll go to socket context and at the very bottom you will add this use effect you'll define a timeout which will be of type uh, return type type of set timeout and then you'll check if is call ended you'll set a timeout and in this timeout you'll set is call ended back to false after two seconds or whichever seconds you want uh 2000 milliseconds is two seconds basically then right here you clean up the timeout so clear timeout timeout and here we have these as dependency so create this use effect and after doing that now yours will work exactly like mine so you'll be able to make this call and uh, after some time we have the call going and you can end the call from here both call ended after some time it goes so up to this point as you can see we have the call going we can be able to end call answer call which is really cool so let's try to call and answer here so we have this going on and you either of them can end the call everything is good awesome now the next step or the next video we will be able to deploy this application and we'll see how we'll do that and the thing is we will not deploy on Vassel uh, because of our custom socket server which we created at the bottom here so I'll show you how we will deploy but if you are able to deploy to Vassel well and good and another thing is that you could take this application to the next level we have come up uh, to the end of this course by the way we just need to deploy and what you could do to take this course to the next level or this application is to try and implement group calls now the difference is that for example on our server whenever you are emitting the event you'll emit to many people so here for participants here we just have one receiver but now we'll have many receivers so you'll have many socket ids to emit to what you will do is to just loop through the ids and then emit the event to each of those ids we'll have one caller yes but many receivers and anywhere you have one receiver know that you should be emitting to many receivers and that is the tip that i give you so that you can try to implement group calls so i'll see you on the next one